here we have the 69 plate BMW M4. Now this vehicle comes with over £13,000 worth of optional extras, all are listed on the website. Just to mention one there, we do have the ultimate package, which is a £5,000 extra on its own. We do have the 20 inch alloy wheels with the blue M Sport brake calipers behind. There's a look at the first alloy. You'll also find the San Marino blue metallic paintwork. We have the LED headlights, gloss black Kinder Grills, M4 badging on the right, carbon on the front splitter as well. Coming around to the passenger side, take a look at the second alloy wheel just down there. We also have the colour coded door handles and door mirrors, black trim around the windows and the privacy glass at the rear. You'll find we have the carbon fibre roof, if you take a closer look so the camera can pick up the detail just there. You'll also find we have the black shark fin antennae, carbon fibre rear spoiler, again taking a closer look to pick up the detail of the carbon. You'll also find we have 360 cameras with front and rear parking sensors, of course a visual display inside. We have the mud flaps as well. Rear diffuser, again carbon fibre, quad tip exhaust as well. We have the M4 badging just here on the right. Just open up the boot. You'll find we have plenty of space, it does go quite far back. We have a storage net here on the left, along with 12 watt connectivity inside of there as well. As a look inside, you'll find a handle just here so we can pull the boot back down. And back around to the driver's side, you'll find the vehicle is free from any major marks, dents or scratches. Now if we take a look at the final alloy wheel just here, and then heading on to the interior, we'll have a look at the back first. I'll fold the front seat forward. You can see we have the leather seats back here, fixed at ISO points. We have the M Sport style seat belts as well. Two seats at the back, two of course at the front with the M4 logo on both the front seats. Really nice, really comfortable. Electrically adjustable as well, the memory function for the driver's seat. We also have the Harman Kardon speakers, electric mirrors and electric windows, automatic lights down here. We have the lane assist. We also have the automatic wipers, multifunctional steering wheel, got the dashboard in front of us. Now this vehicle does have a ghost immobilizer, so I'm just going to turn the ignition on and then put the code in, turn the camera away while I insert the code and then put my foot on the brake, press the start button and the vehicle will start up. You'll find we have the speedometer, cruise control buttons here on the left, also the individual M mode buttons which you can set up on the screen. You then have the phone connectivity volume buttons on the right. Dashboard is free from any warning lights, we've got the digital speedometer in the centre. We also have the high beam assist on this stock here. Steering wheel is also heated. Press the button just there to activate the heat steering wheel. You then have the main infotainment screen. Now if any of these lights or screens are flickering, it is just the camera, they're not flickering in real life, so nothing to worry about. We've got the sat nav just here, but we also have the other features down here. We can click onto media, find the radio stations, go over to the left and you find the other media options which we can go through. If we go down to the mobile devices, you'll also find we have Apple CarPlay as well. Onto the main menu, we can go to My Vehicle and then scroll down to the M Drive, which is where you can set up your individual M mode buttons here on the steering wheel. We also have a heads up display just up here. Again, if it's flickering, it's just the camera. Further down here, you'll find we have the climate control, heated seats either side for both the front seats, as called air conditioning, of course. We also have carbon fiber across the dashboard and also down here really makes the interior a nice place to be usb port just there we have the cup holders underneath here which you can see just there automatic gearbox of course if you put it into reverse then you'll find the reversing camera and also front and rear parking sensors on the left we do also have the other angles just here as you can see Back into neutral, we then have the manual handbrake and also the lever armrest. Open that up and you'll find the wireless phone charging along with another USB port. That's all I'm going to show you today though. If you'd like to find out more, please get in contact. This vehicle comes with a fresh service, fresh MOT and next day delivery is available. Thank you for watching.